One more time. Oh, crucified, laid behind the stone. You live to die, rejected and alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You took the fall, you thought of me above all. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise offering. Amen. How many are glad to be in the house of the Lord? How many under expectation? Amen. Need something from the Lord? Let it be signified by the raising of your hand. Amen. So we all need something. Amen. Uh, uh, keep the ones and it's not here in prayer and probably on the way. We know how it is on a on a work day. You have to uh, all kind of things that you have to go through. Those that may be troubled in their heart, uh, keep them in prayer. That they'll let nothing separate them from the love of God it's in Christ Jesus. Amen. Um, Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, Lord God, we gathered here, Lord, one more time, O oh Father. Lord God, not, Lord God, just as haphazardly, Lord God, as another service, Lord God. Not just another day on the calendar, O oh Father. Lord, we don't take it lightly having this opportunity to be gathered together, Lord God, to hear your precious word, Lord. Lord God, you say, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Lord God, we take this manna as precious food, O oh Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the man of God who, Lord God, took out of his time to drive over, Lord God, and just, Lord, feed the sheep, O oh Father God, in the absence of our shepherd, O oh Lord God. But Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God, for those who press Lord God, they way out, Lord God. Lord God, may you just honor their faithfulness, oh Lord God. Look on those who uh, are on the way, oh Father God, and still battling to get here. We know it's a battle, Lord. I myself, Lord God, have recognized that the devil has been fighting all day long. It's just been one battle after another, even down to the last 30 minutes before coming to service. It's just been a battle. So, Lord, I'm under expectation because when the devil is fighting like that, you really have something in store for us, Lord God. Lord God, our desire, Lord God, is to just be ready, oh, Lord God. Lord God, to become the full statue of a perfect man, Lord. 
Lord, to have our faith muscles built, Lord God. Lord God, the pure love of God in our hearts, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we just love you, Lord God. Feed us, oh, Lord God, as we come, Lord, as hungry sheep, oh, Father. Seeking to hear from you, Lord God. Fill us, oh, Father God. We have needs. Lord God, you saw the hands, oh, Father God, across the sanctuary of those who have needs, Lord God. Lord, look on Brother Garen, oh, Lord God, as he called and said that his aunt is in critical condition. And he had to go to the hospital with his mother, Lord God. Lord God, just be with him, O oh Father God. Lord God, give him, O oh Father God, what to do, Lord, and what to say, Lord God. Lord God, we know, O oh Father God, that you are a mighty God. You are a healer, Lord God. Lord God, just be with our brother, Lord God. Lord God, that he may reflect Christ, O oh Father God. Be God on two feet in the situation, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to intervene, Lord God. Look on our pastor, Lord, as he's over across the seas, Lord. Keep him safe, Lord. And Lord God, as he's just there, Lord God, by himself, just, oh God, give him something special, oh Lord God. That he may be able to come back, Lord God, and just, oh Lord God, just be able to feed us even more, Lord God. Lord, as he go and consecrate and lay before you, I know, oh God, we just thank you, Lord God. Lord God, it's just so wonderful, Lord. Protect them, oh Father God. Lord God, and we just thank you, Lord God. And let just, Lord God, we turn this service into your control, oh Father God. Have your wonderful way, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Can we grab our Bibles? Amen. We're going to read from Psalms 19. Amen. I mean, I guess we'll start at the first verse. Jesus came and did just for me. Amen. Let's read on this wise. Let the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their, their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a as as a out um, as a strong man to run a race he's going forth his form his he's going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord is true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back the servants from uh, presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. For me. Just for me, just for me, 
Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me. Just for me. Oh, Jesus came and did it just for me. Amen. We're going to try this little song here. It's been a long time since I sang it. Amen. Y'all just help me out. Amen. God's attributes were manifested to his bride in this last day. We have caught their revelation by the last prophet's message. And we know who we are and what we're raised up for. Praise the Lord, the original life. The original life, the original seed, the original word is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed, the seventh seal is unfilled, the original life. The original sea. We are the word made flesh today. This is what the scriptures say. And our names are seen within. Reading perfect without sin. Yes, we are the anointed and inspired by God. Original lie is the original lie, the original lie, the original scene, the original word is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed. The seventh seal is unveiled, the original lie, the original sea. We are called unto adoption, full authority and power. Sleeping saints will wake and join us for translation in this hour. Gentile days soon be over. Glory, hallelujah, to our God, whose original life, the original life, the original seed, the original word, is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed. The seventh seal is unveiled. The original lie, the original sea, the original lie of the original sea, the original word is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed, seventh seal is unveiled, the original light, the original sea. Amen. Amen. We want that original word. Amen. That started back at Antioch. Amen. Original seed. Amen, amen. Glory. Amen. We want to ask the brothers to get ready for the offering. We're not going to hold long, just a couple of songs, and I can see the ministers just 
Amen. Like a stallion in the pen, ready to get up here and get going. <laughs> Amen. You love the Lord. Amen. Good to see Brother Mike tonight. Precious brother. Amen. Brother Wisdom, would you lead us in prayer? Yes, Lord. Amen. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath a load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I'm no longer the same. Oh, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Since I met the blessed. Savior, since he cleansed and made me whole, I shall never cease to praise him. Shout it while eternity rolls. Oh, he touched me. Yes, he touched me. And all oh, the joy. Floods my soul. Something, something happened, and now I know He touched me and made me whole. touched me yes he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul oh something something happened and now I know Jesus touched me and made me whole. Amen. The more, the more that I surrender. The more that I surrender, 
the light to my load. The more that I release my cares, the more you take control. The more that I can humble myself, the more you lift me up. And every day I live, Lord, I love you more. Oh, the more. Hallelujah. Oh, the lighter. Oh, the more. Oh, the more you lift. Hallelujah. Oh, the more that I can humble myself, the more you lift me up. And every day I live, Lord, I love you more. The more that I surrender. Oh, the lighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more you lift me up every day. I live, Lord, I love you more, and every day I live, Lord, I love you more, amen, 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 let's just bow our heads for a word of prayer tonight, gracious heavenly father, we just come tonight just to give thanks and praise for just another opportunity to be in the service of the living God, to just to feed on life, Lord, and we just ask that, Father, that you just uh, uh, just give us strength in the bodies tonight, you know, midweek service a lot of times is difficult, and uh, you are just going all day long, and sometimes 7.30 is the first few minutes you have to really sit down. But uh, we just ask that you just send a special anointing, anoint me, oh God. I just kind of just been going all day long, but we we hear the fellowship around the Word of God, and we ask that you anoint us and anoint the hearers of the Word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's get our Bibles out tonight. It's good to be here uh, tonight. Just remember, Brother Jack, in in prayer. Amen. Shan that he's been enjoying himself over in Israel. Amen. Jack get around more than anybody I know. I'm just grab a hold to his coattail one of these days, and I'm going along with him. And Second Corinthians chapter 11. But just remember him um, impressed. Just a whole lot going on in the world today, and uh, traveling abroad. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed earlier. He's, he's, he's talking about, I guess, Jack have this idea about doing things missionary wise or, or whatever. He say uh, him and him and his partner back there, brother Jimmy, said they're going to they're going to evangelize here in the states. They they go to Tampa. They go, you know, and they'll lead the rest to anybody who want to do it. <laughs> I feel the same way sometimes, uh, but I still want to go a little bit overseas. But I. I'm a pick and choose, you know. Uh, <laughs> I ain't no missionary. <laughs> uh, let's get that straight <laughs> right quick. I'm not going back in them jungles and all of that. You got to be built for that. I'm too Americanized, too cultured. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate the Lord. Let's just remember, Brother Jack, Second Corinthians um, chapter 11. We want to start at the first uh few verses there. Now y'all just going to have to bear with me. 
It says, would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly and indeed bear with me. It says, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a, a chaste virgin to Christ. But I feel as uh, by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, uh, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if ye receive uh, another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have uh, not accepted, you might well bear with him. Um, I'm going to stop right there. It's, it's a lot of reading. Uh, you may be seated tonight. Um, we want to use as a little topic tonight uh, the fear of the ministry as a little topic and as a maybe a subtopic, uh, the commission of the Father to present the right kind of woman. Um, now, I've been, I've been uh, working with the book of 2 Corinthians for... Uh, some months now, and uh, y'all pray for me because it, it could get lengthy. <laughs> uh, but um, I want to maybe um, for a few moments so that you can get the picture. I, I think when it comes down to really uh, understanding the Bible, it, it really takes uh, going back and, and really picking up the history and, and the, the whys. I, I think. Uh, my understanding has been uh, revolutionized over the last few months. Uh, this, this entire year, I've done something that I haven't done um, probably in all my years of preaching, but I just felt inspired to maybe uh, go back and just take a, a scriptural approach to help us to really understand uh, the Bible and pull out different things to help us to see that this, this we, we, we know that, and I'm going I'm to preach on something tonight, and it's, it's, I don't want to just necessarily look at it from a historical standpoint, because one of the things I do believe that the scriptures are, are, are relevant. Uh, the, the things that were going on uh, in the days of the Apostle Paul, we can clearly see a lot of things transpiring now uh, in our midst, is that right? And one of the one of the things that we find in looking at this scripture, maybe in the uh, previous few chapters, um, one of the issues that Paul had was um, that there were influences outside influence, uh, clergy related, uh, that were trying to influence the church about uh, Paul's ministry, and and uh, uh, I, I preach. <laughs> I preached a lot of stuff on, on, on this line, and one of the things that I did preach was uh, spiritual warfare and leadership. A, a lot of times I think uh, people misunderstand leadership. Um, when it came down to Paul's apostleship, it was uh, harshly, harshly criticized. And, and I made a statement to, to the church uh, at home, and I, I've kind of preached on these lines at Brother Remy on Sunday. I, I think uh, you should not judge anything uh, haphazardly. Uh, I, I think sometimes we, we judge things that we know very little of and about. And especially, especially when it comes down to to, to ministry, uh, a, a lot of times we, we judge ministers and we, we judge pastors. We, we judge the different offices uh, real harshly. But I think a lot of times the, the approach is intellectual and not spiritual. Uh, uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I, don't, I try not to fight with folks over things, but a lot of times in listening, I realize that people are taking an intellectual approach and uh, uh, feelings and, and I feel and 
You know, the prophet preached the message for us not to lean to our own understanding. But I, but I think a, a lot of times we, we lean to our own understanding and we, we totally, totally miss God. We, we miss, you miss God when you lean to your own understanding. And, and one of the things, um, they, they, uh, they were, they had this thing where, where Paul at one point, Paul, uh, they had an issue. Put it this way. You know how it is. You know how folk is. They have issues with the past about all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, Issues with the ministry. I don't like how he look. I don't like how he dress. I don't like how he, we always got something going on. But one of their issues were was uh, the fact that Paul, when Paul was with them, uh, Paul he operated uh, uh, a little what they thought was timid and and humble and things of that nature. But then when when Paul wasn't with them. It seems like his writings, right? His his writings to the church was harsh, was was worded strong. And and one of the things I was telling my church, you know, I was saying that uh uh you you know, people say, Well, be direct, be straightforward. But then when you're direct and you're straightforward, people can't really handle it. Right? Y'all ought to preach with me tonight. Right? People say, give it, give it to me straight. But then when you give it to them straight, they bit out of shape. Huh? (laughs) See, and and what people, people don't realize, you know, um, if, if you really look at Paul's ministry, uh, uh, the thing that they were missing was the fact that, uh, Paul was being led by God. Right? Because, you know, one of the things, I don't like all up in my face. Right? I, I, you know, I don't like, you know, you want people to have tact. I've been, I've been working this week with a guy, uh, starting from Monday to the day. Boy, I almost quit every day. It's an old, old fella. And, and, he just kind of been getting under my skin. It's like, whoo, boy, don't he know I'm 55? I mean, just the way that he he been, you know, just talk to me, talk to me, and I ain't going to, you know, he 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 this. And and it's like, I, and then I got I got a Jamaican guy working there, and he, he has to catch me. It's like, oh, Jesus, I'm being tried. I'm I'm being tried. <laughs> You know, it's like, man, but, you know, it, it just really shows you something. Uh, you, the church should have really been able to uh, appreciate Paul's approach be, because what Paul's concern mostly was about uh, them. Real, realistically, uh, Paul's entire ministry, if we look at redemption, was really trying to get them in a place in a position to line them up, right? right? <laughs> I'm I, I'm gonna say this, and I pray that it don't really hurt your feelings. I I I've really come to a place after twenty some years, and and sometimes we take it for granted. We think because people have been in the church twenty and thirty years, they understand. They do not. And, and sometimes we might think because people have been in the, been in the church and around the you know the message of the hour that they are spiritual and they are mature. They are not. I'm, I'm realizing that more and more as as we 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 uh, get closer to the rapture, right? The, the light is shining and exposing things, and you realize, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It seems like we're going backwards instead of forward, right? But Paul, they 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 harshly judged this ministry with no real. You shouldn't judge anything unless you fully uh, uh, understand it to its minute. If that's a word, where's Rebecca at? You know, I have to watch that stuff with Rebecca. She 
Uncle Willie, what was that word? Y'all ought to know. I ain't graduated from high school, so it felt good coming out. The, I said the smallest detail. But but watch this. If if you're looking at something from the mind of God, you'll get yourself to a place where where we won't judge it. Unless we're judging it on the word. We judge a lot of things in the flesh. Right? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a human. I, I look at things sometimes, uh, and, and you know, we, we get so caught up in the flesh, and God's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you're supposed to be an adopted son. You're supposed to be a matured son. You're supposed to be writing the checks. Right? <laughs> but But look at your approach. Look at how you comment and what you comment. Y'all gonna have to get on Brother Jack. He he invited me. But but I'm not saying this. I'm not I'm not here to be 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 uh, harsh or anything. This is just the way I am. I, I've preached this four or five times, right? Um, you you can't re- judge things. But see, they were judging Paul because of outside influences, right? Be be careful in this hour uh, who's feeding you. <laughs> be careful of, of whose table that you're eating from. <laughs> right? Come on. Because, because the devil is still the devil. Right? And people might be all right, but people might be anointed. Right? To, to, to sow seed. Right? But, but Paul, let me, let me move on. How much time I got? At least 45 minutes. Paul says here, I would to God that you would bear with me a little in, in, in my folly and indeed bear with me. And, and, and in so many words in studying the, 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 the commentaries on the scriptures and everything that I could find, it, it's like, be patient. In so many words, he's saying, you know, I hate to even, and you'll get in the 12th chapter a little bit. In some instances, he's sarcastic. Like, it, it's sad that I have to be here trying to explain to the people that I brought to the message of the hour. <laughs> my, my ability. <laughs> right? If, if you really start to look at the... The Corinthians right, he said, Paul, apostle of Jesus Christ, called and things of that nature. That's just not writings. This is this is a man in the defense of, of, of his calling. And, and one thing about it, I learned something. The prophet makes a statement. He said, You cannot be what you're not. Hmm? You you no no matter from the outside looking in, no matter how much you might look at Brother Jack and say, Well, well, you know what? Uh uh I can pastor. <laughs> if God has an ordained for you uh from, from the foundation of the world to be a pastor, you will never be able to accomplish it. You won't be able to do it. You if you attempt it, you won't be able to do it properly. Let me tell you something. It's difficult to manage people. Huh? I'm going to say that again. It's difficult to manage people. Because, you know, we, we, we got our different upbringings, our different thought patterns. Our, it's, it's, we all different. And, and, and you, you have one, one objective and one goal. And, and you're looking at the people, and the people looking at you, and the people looking at you say, he picking on me. There he go again. <laughs> you know, why he had to say that, and why he had to say it like that. <laughs> right? And he's looking like, Lord, I need, your, I need inspiration. I, I need your leadership. One thing I can say over 20-some years, 20 years now, of working with a group of people, I've 
totally trusted in the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Right? I'm not perfect. God is. The Word is. And, and my whole objective has been to point the people to the Word of God. See, uh, let me bring us uh, 2017. A lot of people look at the prophet's ministry and grossly misunderstand it. Right? Not, not realizing what his ministry, just like Paul, was to point the people back to the Bible, back to God. Right? Because like the Corinthians, the Corinthians had drifted. Right? God sends Malachi 4 on the scene because the people had drifted. Right? The people, the people no longer resembled the apostate, Troy, Troy said it, the original life. We're going to strike it tonight. Huh? See? The, 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 God, God, God was working to restore masterpiece. Right? See? We, we, I don't know about folk. I don't know about folk anymore. But, but I believe that we needed Malachi 4. If, if, if we're realistic, and we're not in the flesh. And, and, and God is, is giving us spiritual insight. You, you could look at, you, this has nothing to do with people. Cause we, we get caught up on people. They're good people. But I'm gonna make a statement. And I'm gonna make a real strong statement here. Be, because I know that people do not understand. We just talk. People don't realize good people died in the days of Noah. Y'all ought to come and talk with me. See, I, I hear people talking. I just get, I'm like, you know, y'all, you're, you're missing the entire picture. You're missing God. We, we know God, God is long suffering in, because he is in this age. But what we fail to realize, you look at Dathan and Korah when they got away from the word. When they got out of source and they started coming against God's servant. Look what God did. Opened up the earth and swallowed up people. Yeah, See, we, we sometimes we think that God is this, and he is this great loving God, but God is a God of judgment too. Right? Look at, look at the days of Lot. Right? Look at the days of Lot when the two angels went down to Sodom. And they told Lot to come hither because we can't do nothing till you come out. Oh, backslid Lot. They had to drag, they had to drag a lot out. And his wife got to looking back, turned into a pillar of salt. Right? Look, look, look what happened. It was good folk. Right? In, in, in the midst, in the midst of, in the midst of a bunch of bad folk, there was some good folks. But some of those good folks, when it came down to the light of the day, they missed it. Days of days of Noah, everybody ain't bad. But that sometimes that's our concept. They go to church and they good people. <laughs> don't doubt it. Don't don't doubt it. But see, God has called us to positionally place us. Amen. In the body. Right? Amen. Not saying that, you know, everybody in the denomination is, is on their way to hell. Right? Because when it comes down to eternal life and, and, and rapture, things of that nature, that's all been predetermined by God before we ever even got here. Right? See? You just got to know where you stand. Your, your place in scripture. See? Well, sometimes folks try to worry about other folks' place in scripture and don't even know what their own place in scripture. Right? See, the hardest thing, the hardest thing I find, even at home a lot of times is, you know, they, they get me, but Brother Smiley, you know, they're good people because, you know, we got good friends and all that. I, Listen, I'm not going to put the people in hell, right? But 
in every age, they had to hear from the spirit of that day. Right? He that has an ear, let them hear. Right? Everybody's not going to, everybody's not going in the rapture. Everybody's not in the body. But everybody that's not in the body and that's not going to the rapture ain't going to hell. Let me move on. Somebody say, move on, brothers. Yeah, you, I could take a text on that. Right? But, but Paul was like, hey, let, me, let me move from there. Now watch, he says, for, for, now remember our text tonight. The fear of the ministry, right? And the commission of the, uh, of the father to present the right kind of woman, right? Now, now, now here, here he says, for I am jealous over you. Now, uh, this jealousy that he's speaking of is, is not uh, carnal jealousy. Right? Oh, Lord, where my note? Help us, Jesus. <laughs> Something I wrote down. Because, see, it, there's an effect of, of, of human jealousy, and it's negative. Right? Humanistic, and Paul is not dealing with anything carnal, anything natural, but it's all spiritual. Right? But hu- human negativity is is negative the results of it is all negative but but godly jealousy watch this is is a concern for holiness integrity purity of ethics and the whole of the christian standards right <laughs> and that's the thing that sometimes lay people miss <laughs> right, brother Jack. Just I tell you what he that we just can't do nothing. <laughs> but you got to understand godly jealousy, oh, right? Yeah. Godly jealousy, the concern for holiness. Uh-huh. See, because without you won't see the Lord. Mm-hmm. Integrity, purity of ethics. Which this world has none. Right? And the whole of Christian standard. See? If 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 there wasn't a man that that uh uh stood for something, could you imagine the condition of spirit and truth and Bible truth tabernacle? Huh? We, we, we could look back. And, 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 and some of the uh, older saints, Sister Burroughs and some of them, Sister Brown, um, that kind of cr- group came up, you know, l- looking at I te- Mother Burroughs Church, for, for instance. Maybe Troy remember when he was a little boy, right, Pentecost. Uh, um, that was a time w- where it was just pure holiness, integrity, and everything else. But, but look what happened when the standard was was dropped when when one person one person came through the church with Mary Kate. Huh? One person came through the church with Mary Kay, probably was a prominent person in the church. Huh? And and look what happened over time. See, and, and, and God trying to move a church, you know, into the head, but then somebody anointed <laughs> that comes in with Mary Kay in, in a ministry. I'm telling you, it's hard to manage people. Huh? Because sometimes there's times when you just gotta take a stand and say no, 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 no. I'm telling you something. No matter whether it's your children, whether it's your spouse, it's hard to manage people. It's hard to keep a word standard because there's so many influences. It was influences in the days of Paul, right? 
It was influences. I, I wish I could get to it tonight. It was, it was seducing clergy spirits in the days of Paul that were influencing the church. And sometimes, and sometimes, you know, uh, they call to it. Sometimes they park a lot. And sometimes they got women preacher hats on. But, you know, it's all the same, especially in the days that we're living in. But I'm going to move on. Somebody say move on, Brother Smiley. <laughs> now, I got a lot. Now, I'm, 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 I got a whole lot here. I'm loaded now. Uh, this tablet full. Hmm? But so, so that it, what, what is Paul trying to do? Paul is trying to get them to see his position and what his concern is and what he's actually trying to do. That's the hardest thing to get people to see. We, we have an objective. We have something that we're looking at based upon the word of God. And sometimes you got to be patient because people, people sometimes just don't see it. And I learned that. I, 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 you know, I change. I, I try not. I, try, I have to really be patient. Right? Because you don't want to damage the people. You, sometimes people get spiritual amnesia. It's just a whole lot that goes along with it. Right? And, and, and you want to be long-suffering with people because sometimes God is long-suffering with you. See? I, I'm telling you, man. I can't flip the script because I know that God is long suffering with me. Y'all ought to preach with me. Huh? <laughs> see, you, you see how sometimes we, we're short. We're short with the preacher. We're short with our children. We're, we're just short. Not realizing what if God was just short. Somebody say, move on, Brother Smiley. Huh? <laughs> We we we've got to have we've got to have have patience, right? But he says, "For I'm jealous over you with godly je jealousy." For once, he says, "For I have espoused you to one husband, right? One head." You cannot serve God and mammon at the same time, right? You you know what, church? We we're we're right at a we're we're right at a place where you gotta make a choice, right? Everybody's given a choice. We you you choose the church and the choosing of a bride. You choose the church. You choose the man. You choose the woman. You, it, it's all about a choice, but you gotta make a choice, right? Young people gotta make a choice, huh? See. One of the things, one of the things, a statement that I use at church all the time. You got to come God's provided way. You got to find God's provided way. You know, now it, it seems like, well, it don't look like God's doing nothing. It don't look like nothing happening in this age. And what happened to all the young people? It look like you old preachers. Y'all missing the boat. I ain't one of those. I'm not one of those. I'm clear in my understanding. Huh? People just got to make a choice. Right? Who you going to be married to? It's a choice. See? You can't force people to serve God. Young or old or in between. We got all these, all kind of little spirits going on on around the on the around the message now, huh? Everybody rising up, young preachers and young folks with all kind of nonsense. Let me tell you something: you gotta find God's provided way, right? I'm gonna tell you something that's really powerful. No matter what you do, right? What you do, what you say, you can't come next God called you. That's scary to think about. <laughs> if, if we scripturally look at this age, uh, scripturally, the days of Noah, look how few went in the ark. Out of literally million. See, all of these things, you know, people got to keep in, keep in mind. 
the old folks, the old folks and the old preachers and the old church, they missing it. No, we ain't missing it. You just got to find out what God provided way is. You got to come the same way, right? <laughs> that everybody else through the Bible came. Make a choice. I'm going to live for God, period. I'm going to live for God, period. If I fall, I'm going to get back up because I'm a righteous man. A, a righteous man fall uh, a lot of times. <laughs> a righteous man now. We ain't talking about a sinner. We, we talking about a righteous man fall, what, about 70 times or something like that? Huh? But they get back up again because they're righteous. See? But you got to make a choice. I don't care if you're young, old, or 80 years old. You got to make a choice. Right? My resolve is that I'm going to live for God. Regard, regardless of Facebook and this book and that book. You know what? I, I just, I told, I told some of the saints, I said, you know, I got some sick of Facebook, so I got off it. I deleted my page. Now, y'all don't have to go delete your page. I ain't telling you that. This ain't no delete your page doctrine. I'm talking about me. I just got so sick of it. I just said, you know what? And then, so I don't know what, what's going on and what everybody's saying. Uh, and I, I just got off it. I just got off it. And my, my daughter-in-law, she was like, you did. She was like, I can't. All the work I put into my page and this and that, I ain't going to let that. I'm like, guys, you keep yours. I got off it. I got sick of it. <laughs> I got sick of the nonsense. You know, I, I I be this close to blasting people. I'm telling you, when I when I read something, I be like, boy, I tell you what, Lord help us, help me, Jesus. I just be, and I say, I ain't going to help nobody. Because they're going to say, brother, Smiley, a troll. He trolling people pages and, and all. And I say, you know, I'm going to just get off it so I don't know what these people are doing. So, so, so I can have a liberty that when I go anywhere and preach, I don't know what you're posting, what you're doing. If, if the Holy Spirit lead me, I'm just, just going to say it and it's going to be up to you. All right. Let me move on. Somebody say, keep moving, keep moving. But he espoused them to one head. Right? You got to make a choice. You can't love two men at the same time. It's totally, you cannot do it. You can't love two people. Not correctly. Right, right. Uh, I, I love him, but I love him too. You deceive. You need help. You can't do it. It's impossible. The Bible says. Right? Hey, Amen. If, if we could make, you know what? I told my church, I said, uh, if, if we could get people to make a choice, right? I say, you know, because I can't help nobody, young or old, until they make a decision to serve God. And from that point, I can work with them to bring them to a place of perfection. Other than, other than no matter how much emotions, you know, we done, we done did the emotional thing for, for 20 years. Right? And, I, and I'm not against emotions. I, that's wonderful. But I realize if you scripturally look at at the day of Pentecost, right, Peter preached, and the other brothers stood up and amen the word. The, the, it was the preaching of the gospel. Come on. It was the preaching of the gospel that pricked the heart of the people. Huh? And they said, you know, me and brethren, what must we be saved? They was willing to make a choice. They, they heard something that they identified with, that they, they agreed with men and brethren, what must we do to, amen, be saved? Right? Come on. That has not changed. It still takes the preaching of the gospel. Uh, how can you hear unless a preacher preach? He got to be sent. See, all this other stuff is nonsense. You got to, because... Because if, if, if we don't approach it this way, then what we're saying is that we're smarter than God. Come on. Come on. Come on. When God set the standard, when there was nobody 
for, for God to communicate with, God set the standard. It's God's program, God's plan. And God say, if you follow it, amen, you, you know, it's almost like following a yellow brick road. <laughs> you get back to Kansas. Uh, you, you, you'll find your way back. But, but if you deviate from the plan of God, this ain't Brother Somali's plan. See, it can't be your plan and your thoughts and all of this stuff. And your feel, well, if we will we'll do it, it will not work. It really won't work. If I implement anything outside of what God has implemented, it will not work. Right? God will have to reject it because God said, well, smile, you were smarter than me. Your plan was, was a whole, it don't work like that. If, if from, from point A, from the day of Pentecost, when they came out, they preached, souls were pricked, they came in and really received something. Right? See, a lot of times people be screaming and hollering and rolling around down there and when they get up, cause I did it. I did it. Huh? I did it. I remember my first experiences in, you know, before I, I, I came to Florida, I had some experiences. No, I was in Florida. That's right. I was in Florida. Well, I had different places, but I was in Florida. I remember boy, they had me in Pentecostal church. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I was like, gee, 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 I'm going to slide because y'all telling me to slide. But when I got up, I went straight back to the corner and got a deal. Huh? <laughs> That's right. But I came to a point where I made a decision, right? I said, Lord, you know what? <laughs> if you don't do something for me today, I was like, John Ryan or something, one of them guys. I, I, uh, whoever that was, he said, if you don't do something for me right, then you're going to come back, you're going to find my bones in the field. Uh, you See, people just ain't desperate enough. Because when you get desperate, desperation moves God. Moves God on the scene. But a lot of times people be playing. See, they, they, they come to church, they, and that's why they stop coming, because they come in and, and the word, they be con con condemned. They be condemned, right? Be, be, because they, they they know better, so they say, "Well, we we we, we ain't coming," <laughs> right? But the problem is, they ain't meant to. I'm, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep moving because I ain't gonna get to my point. How much time I got, Troy? I got about thirty more minutes. What time, brother Jack? Close. Don't tell me that tonight. Now I'm not home, so I feel a little freedom. Uh, Sunday I had an interpreter. Tonight I ain't got no interpreter. So. But but uh, he says, for I'm jealous over you, I have espoused you to one husband that I may now now let me let me read this and then we'll come in. I may present you as a chaste version to Christ. Right? Wow. What what inspiration? <laughs> See? You say, well, what Paul is trying to do? Paul is trying to really get them to see and understand what his ministry entails, what he's actually doing, right? Something that Paul is looking back to. I, I, was, I was telling the church, and then I was thinking about the scripture there in, in Genesis, um, just dealing with a version. And I, and I was telling them, you, you, you look at uh, Eliezer, <laughs> right? See, you, you can't break, you cannot break the theme of the Bible. When you go back to, go back, now, now watch redemption. Redemption takes us all the way back to the beginning, right? And, and what we find if we go back to the, the Genesis, the first, first church, right? What God gave his son was a version. Right? She played the part of a harlot. 
But what, but what God presented to Adam was pure, was perfection. Right? That's what God presented. That thing can't change. That thing can't change. I'm going to get into something in a second. That thing cannot change. Paul, Paul, watch Paul. Paul's looking back to Genesis. Right? Then he picks up, he picks up Eliezer. Right? Could you see the responsibility? A lot of times people don't realize this and people want to be preachers and you want to be this and this. You don't really realize the responsibility that goes along with ministry. That's a real serious responsibility. You're going to have to give account. Real true ministry ain't about being popular. Because a lot of times you aren't popular. Right? It, when when, when um, Abraham called Eliezer and told him to go get uh, a bride for uh, uh, his his son Isaac. Could you imagine the pressure? Go back and read it. The pressure that Eliezer was up under. Like, whoa, this is a big task. <laughs> this is a big task. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like because I can't bring, I cannot present. Right? Watch what we hit. I cannot present to my master's son. Anything outside of a version. Hmm? <laughs> outside of what is pure. Outside of what is wholesome. Huh? Because it deals with character. Right? Look, look at the, the, the fellow who, who was looking for a little bride. <laughs> right? Rich man, the rich man's son went to the country. Huh? And what was he looking for? What was wholesome, what was pure. Because what was in Chicago was whoredom. Right. Y'all don't talk to me now. Huh? <laughs> and see, Eliezer knew that he could not present to Abraham's son a whore. Right. Something, that, something that was already tampered with and touched. It had to be pure. Right. It had to be a virgin. And you see the responsibility. He's like, oh, man. Like, oh, God, this is pressure. Abraham told him, look, let me tell you something. Uh, you know, it's good to, to get follow the instruction. Well, <laughs> I, I guess because the kids don't want to follow the father. He, he's an old folk and he don't understand and he this and he that. We'll leave that alone. Praise the Lord. Let, somebody say, move on, Brother Frank. Huh? The responsibility that he had, Abraham said, listen, don't you go to the streets. <laughs> don't you go to the world. <laughs> well, I'll go to the world. And, and he said, uh-uh. <laughs> no, you go, to, you go amongst my people. We've changed that. Sister Brown, I don't know what didn't happen to folk now. Folk, we, Brother Troy, folk used to believe that. We, 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 we used to, you know, folk used to, uh, uh, ah, but now we go to the world. I, I heard, I, this has been a good, good little minute ago. I heard a, a young sister that grew up around the message say, I don't want no message, boy. I'm like, you don't. You want a tug, huh? Somebody gonna slap that head up five or six times. Cause your daddy to go to jail, huh? What? You should want somebody that love the Lord. Somebody that's gonna treat you right. I don't want no Christian boy. Lord have mercy. Abraham said, but you go amongst my people. Right? Amen. And he, what, but what was he looking for? He was looking for character, something that was wholesome, something that was a virgin, because it can't break, it can't break, amen, the, the, the types of the scripture, right? It's what, it's, it's, it's still the father, what the, what the father is going to present to his son. It can't be whoredom. 
Right? It can't be a harlot. Right? Amen. Then watch the prophet. Watch the prophet. Watch the, watch the prophet. He picks up, because he said, I preach what Paul preach. Right? Watch inspiration. See, Bible school uh, theology don't give you this. What, but the thing that the prophet of God had, he didn't get it from uh, some theology. Right? Amen. He, he looked back to the beginning. Say, man, the first time God, God gave his son a, a wife, he gave her a virgin. Right? Looks down in the evening time. If, if my son is going to get anything, it's got to be a virgin. It's got to be untouched. It's got to be pure. It's, come on. Come on. This is why the prophet of God constantly was trying to drive it in. Showing the fallacy in all of this. All of this. All of this. All of this. Right? See? Amen. Why? Trying to get us back to the Word. Back, back to the Bible. Back to the Word. Not denominationalism. Right? You can't approach God when I'm this. Not even in the message. That's a tight statement now. If you approach, when I'm just in the message, you're going to miss it. You, you got to come, you got to come God provided provide way. Now, I'm, that's not no slight. That's a revelation. I hope that didn't go over your head. Right? Because some people, some people have that same type of mentality and attitude. But you still got to be born again. See? The prophet never took us outside of the word. He brought us back to the Bible. Back to Pentecost. Right? Back to the word. Because he realized what's got to be presented to Christ has got. Because what came. Look. What came. The thing that God gave Adam came from Adam. Hmm? Right? Amen. And the thing that Christ is getting come from him. I might take off through here. I got soft shoes on tonight. I'd like to take off and run right now. Right? See, what came from Christ at Calvary, this smitten bride was a perfect word bride. Hmm. It's got to be word on word. Right? Now, I ain't got a bunch of quotes up here, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, if y'all need them, I got a phone and Jack got a computer. But I hope y'all don't need them. I hope, I hope y'all got y'all spiritual thinking caps on. Right? Amen. Because we're talking about Christ. And any time we're looking at Christ, we're looking at perfection. We're looking at purity. We're looking at ethics. Right? We're looking at holiness. We, we're looking at all things good. Right? See, there's no way that Christ will ever marry a harlot. Come on. Come on. There's no way that Christ will ever marry a harlot. Something that's been manhandled. Tapped with and touched, he ain't going to do it. Right? She got, she's got to be word upon word upon word upon word upon word upon word. Brother Brown, I'm crazy. No, he ain't. <laughs> He's a false prophet. No, he wasn't. The man had spiritual insight. Huh? The man had spiritual insight. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Man, I, I couldn't, couldn't have saw all of this, the things that I see nowadays if it wasn't for the message of the hour. Hmm? Amen. Then watch this. I got 15 minutes. Y'all going to stay with me for 15 minutes? Okay. So then he says, uh, I may present you as a chaste version to Christ. But watch this. 
He says, but I fear lest by any means, right, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. Now, now watch Paul. See, Paul still working with Genesis. Look at, look at inspiration. Look at Paul. Paul looking at the church. Right? Look at Brother Smiley looking at the church. Huh? The fear. The fear of the ministry. Paul looks, Paul looks back, amen, at Genesis at the first church, and he, he see, amen, uh, the serpent which wants to some slithery something, but, but, but a man. <laughs> well, part beast, but part man, closest thing was the man. Right? That could speak, that, that, that could reason, that could talk. Right? The prophet of God said the problem that Eve had was she stopped to listen. Hmm? Amen. She opened up the wound of her mind. She, so you watch, you watch people in this hour. They're stopping. And they're, they're opening up their mind. They're opening up their mind. That sounds reasonable. That's exactly what Eve did. But listen now, Eve had the simplicity of God, the perfect interpretation of the word of God. As long as she would have stayed with that, she would have lived. Hmm? She would have lived. But the moment she stopped, she opened up the wound of her mind. Now go back to spoken word of the original seed. Right? He sowed a seed. Right? Look at the look at the seed that he sowed. It was, it was a seed of death. It was a hybrid seed, a seed of discrepancy. Look, look, look at look at the look, from 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 that to the adultery, and then look at the wreckage. Hmm? The oneness was broken. The harmony in the family was broken. Why? Because she stopped. Huh? Go back and read it. Right? She stopped. She opened up the wound of her mind. Satan, right? Subtle. Paul comes on the scene and say, huh? Hmm. I see the same thing happening here. Right? I see it's the same spirit. Right? That's a, just anointing men in this day. When I, when I brought y'all the revealed word of the hour. Right? I gave y'all the hidden mysteries, things that was hid from the found, foundations of the world. Is that what Paul said? The, what I got, what I'm giving is the, the things that's been hid from the foundations of the world. Huh? And then these anointed ones, right? These anointed ones, they come on the scene and say, well, who is Paul? Who, who is Paul? Same spirit. Who is Paul? Who, who, who is Paul? <laughs> I mean, if, if, if Paul, how can Paul say he's something when, when he, look at him, he ain't got but one coat. Huh? He got one coat. He got to work. He destitute. What kind of, you know, his, his buddy, his buddy walked away from him. Demons say, man, it's like Paul, man, how could you even, man, fix your mouth to say that you're a man of God. God was here to reveal his simplicity. We miss God in simplicity. See? <laughs> Demons looking at Paul. Hey, hey, how can you say you're a man of God? You tell a man with the kind of ministry that you've been given, the kind of revelation that you, you've been given. Even you go into the 12th chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. <laughs> well, Paul was just kind of playing with their mind. We are talking about but Paul could have had something to boast. But God gave him, because of the abundance of revelation, uh, 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 a messenger of Satan to buffet him. To give him blow after blow. Huh? 
because of the depth of the revelation. Paul operating upon the, amen, uh, uh, a lion anointing, a teaching anointing to rightly divide the word of God to the, to the church. But then those false anointed ones come. Then Paul, by inspiration, inspiration, picks them up and look, amen, the Genesis. Right? And he sees the serpent. He sees the, the serpent, amen, uh, 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 approaching the church from an intellectual standpoint. You can't reason with the devil. Huh? Look what he did at Nicaea. That same devil. After the church was established on the word. Right? Cor the correct Godhead. The correct order of baptism. I mean, watch. You, you see it. Book of Acts. You see it. They had everything in common. One mind. They believe the same thing. But then the devil. You can see in the seventh seal when the prophet of God, he makes this statement. He said, why, why God kept that thing back? Because he said if he'd, have, if he'd have put it out through the ages, he said the devil would have did a lot of damage. Look what the devil has done since the seals has been opened. Look at the damage that he's done since the seals has been opened. So could you imagine what it would have been if he would have released those things in the first age? Oh, Lord. We wouldn't know how to get back to God. Hmm? Yeah. He, I'm going to close. He says, I fear, lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve. We spiritual Eve. Huh? Through his subtlety. Not right in your face. Right? Just a little like look at look at look at you know the Ephesian age. Right? With with a little little seed. A little little something that seems so inoffensive. This ain't gonna hurt nothing. Right? A little little deed. In that age, a little deed, a little sand, you know. Take, but but look, but look at look at the thing. It was taken from. It wasn't added to the church. It was taken from the church, right? Taking your position, taking your place. Well, we'll give it to one man. Uh, I think Brother Jack just finished the church ages or something, didn't he? Hmm? We we we'll, we'll give all the. The, the ability and anointing and everything to this just one man and 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 everybody else kind of you know we sit we try to sit and absorb the things that he's saying and, and then you know we could just kind of live any kind of life we want to live and you know it just seems like it's like <laughs> you see where that that's error the devil trying to take your position, your place, your authority. Right? To do that, to do that, to give all of the, the power and the position to one man, what that does for you? Where's your adoption? Hmm? Where's your adoption? Where's your place? Where's your power? Huh? <laughs> you know what I say? It's in that one fella. There he is, right there. See, you see the error? We, we go back, we go back 30 years. Right? When we were up under a, a certain ministry. <laughs> where, where, you know, all of the power and the position was given to this one man in this one man church. But then, where's your power? Where's your position? Where's your place in the body? Hmm? And to show that it was error, one year after the man goes off the scene, the whole thing is in ruins. Huh? Hmm? Why? Because it wasn't based upon the word. Right? Look at the hour that we're living in. Look at the subtlety of the serpent. This is the thing, as a ministry, I fear. Right? Look, keep moving. Keep it moving. 
right? Close up the wound of your mind. Right? So when when people say, well, well, Brother Branham ain't Elijah and Brother Branham ain't this, keep moving. Don't try to reason. I'll study. I'll study. I'm going to study. And see, that's the same thing that Eve did. Watch. Eve tried to study with the serpent without Adam. I'm going to jump through these chairs. I'm going to jump through these chairs. Huh? Eve tried to have Bible study with the serpent without Adam. And look what happened. Broke the church. (laughs) Broke up everything. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. God gave y'all a head. Huh? You can't you can't study with everybody. You can't listen to everybody. Cause, because things sound good. You gotta have discernment. Let me tell you something. Man, I, I listen to sometimes people, you know, I folk can say some stuff that what be sounding so good. We like. No, 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 that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. That's not right. See, you folk, young people, young preachers, <laughs> huh? I don't have Bible study without the pastor. Okay, you keep feeding on that foolishness if you want to. You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> huh? D- don't realize it. The devil is setting them up. Huh? <laughs> See? And, and this is what people, people miss. You, they don't come God's provided way. Hmm? And when you don't come God's provided way, amen, you, you, you call somebody to get killed. Look at David. Boy, I got to go. Huh? Look at David. God, David had good intentions. But look who he consulted. Y'all don't preach with me now. (laughs) Did he consult the pastor? He he didn't consult the pastor. He didn't consult the prophet. I'm going to consult intellectual men, the captains of so many, so many. What? People people who going to pat you on the back. My, My dog, my boy. People that, you know, that are afraid to hurt your feelings or, or with no real true concept of the word. Go up, David. <laughs> huh? Do it. Go get it. Go get it and bring it back. <laughs> huh? Praise God. Shout of the king is in the camp. They made up a song. Shout of the king is in the camp. The shout of the king, the shout of the king, shout of the king is in the camp. Huh? Broke the word. Right? And instead of them finding what the will of God is and coming God provided way. Right? God, there's a process of approach to things. They figure we build this new car. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to build this little new thing, this new cart. Because, see, the old preachers, you know, who, they, they outdated. So we start this new little, you know, millennial, this little millennial thing, you know, this new cart. Because, see, the old way don't work. It's, it's outdated. Put... Putting the ark on the shoulders of a Levite. Huh? God provided way. Huh? Well, well, you know what? We'll build a new cart because the old way, it, it just, you know, that's just the old way. We need something new. We need something fresh. Huh? 
They went up and got it. And, and when that thing started tilting, a, 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 a man, a, a good man, a good man got killed because of wrong inspiration. See, if they would have consulted Nathan, Nathan would have consulted God. And God would tell them, go get it. But remember to bring it back on the shoulders of the Levites. Because it's the Levites that packs the word of God. You know when, jo boy, I got to go. But I'm feeling good. You notice when Joshua was crossing over into the land, right? God told him, look, you tell them people whatever they do, you put the preachers out first. Tell them to stand a little bit back. Don't, don't get too close. Not, not in carnality. Now, I believe I'm untouchable or nothing like that. But you got to come God's provided way. Right? And look what God did. But anytime man start getting in the way and bringing his ideas a new car, a new way, a new system, look what it did. That man touched that thing, that man died. The whole thing was ruined. Now, now, now everybody looking crazy. A man dead. Probably, probably a woman was husbandless. Huh? Y'all don't talk to me now. You can't be listening to everybody and their foolishness. How your homes broke. Your, your spirituality broke. Your kids, man. You can't listen to everybody. Well, well, see, I ain't going to go to Brother Jack. Why? Why you ain't going to go to Brother Jack? Huh? Why? Tell me why you ain't going to go to Brother Jack. Huh? Because you know what? He going to be like Michael. Huh? Every time I want to do something, he say no. Huh? Every time. We want to have fun, but every time. He say, no, you can't do it. Then he called Brother Smiley and they get together and just say, no. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can do things, but you got to do things the right way. You need structure. You need order to keep folk from getting killed. We want to... Y'all gonna get somebody up here because I feel good right now. I thought I was tired. Huh? That's right. <laughs> they always say no. You, you know how it is in the home. Y'all parents. Every time I tell them, my daddy always say no. My mama always tell me no. I can't go this way. I can't do that. I can't do nothing. You can, but I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Right? Amen. I'm protecting you. I'm your God. It ain't that you can't do things, but I want you to do things that's not going to hurt you. That's not going to affect you. That's, that's not going to, something that you got to live with 30 years down the road. Come on. Come on. Let me tell you something. I, what kind of man would I be? Right? Knowing, knowing that my kids, and I just, you know, and I, I know they, it is what it is. But, but, I, listen, listen, listen. I'm not the stranger. Uh -huh. Right? right. It, it, I look at things totally different. Mm -hmm. Why? I've been in the world. Uh -huh. Come on. All the parents that had a little taste of it, let me see your hands. Oh, see, it's a whole lot of y'all. Y'all taste a little bit of it. Huh? I think you have the advantage. You can see it from the natural and the spiritual. I said, don't do that. That's going to hurt you. Don't do that. That's going to hurt you down the line. Huh? I, it's hurting me to tell you, but it don't be hurting me. I don't be hurt by it. I, it's, just, it's just that I want to protect my children. Huh? I, I want to I protect them. I want to protect my church. Don't do it. Michael, let me tell you something. If, if, if you just give us the word now, we'll make you somebody. We'll make you somebody now. 
Let me, let me go up and pray. <laughs> no, God said don't do it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Then here it comes. You get a, let me just come on. You get a false anointed one. But I tell you what, God said, God said, go up. You're going to drive them out. <laughs> slap my, you know, we be sometimes getting spiritually slapped in the mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Go on up there. Put him, put him, put him, put him, you know, in, in a prison. I deal with him when I get back. Okay, if you make it back, then you can deal with me. Huh? How many times church folk done slap God's servant in the mouth and say, shut up, I'm going to do what I want to do. Y'all better get this mic. I feel God. Huh? Shut up. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, folk, they don't let it let us do nothing. Michael, the same spirit in the chest today. Shut up. It ain't about a man. It's about God. It's about God trying to protect you. Yeah. Hey, well, we can't never. No, I, no, I don't want to see you go out there and become a drunk, a prostitute, some, right? Not me. Okay. What makes folk think, in this age think they anything different than other folk? Sin will take you farther than you want to go. I can handle it. Handle what? Handle what? What makes your DNA <laughs> any better than my DNA? If I couldn't handle it, and I'm a pretty tough fella, Sister Michelle. I'm from the row. Huh? I'm old school. I done seen some stuff. I done been some places. And I couldn't handle it. Place in position, you'd be so scared. Like, Lord, if you just get me out of this, I won't do it no more. <laughs> huh? you be, you be up in some situations like, Lord, how in the world, in the world, I done let folk talk me into this one. Lord, Lord, don't let me die. <laughs> You'll be crossing like a Catholic and everything else. Jesus. I'm telling you. Man, I'd have been in some situations be like, Jesus, feet don't fail me now. Huh? Running so fast, it's like, you know, guy, you know, we're trying to make you way on up, but who else will get this back to? You know, hey. Man, I know, you know, they used to call me Turtle. <laughs> but boy, when we in trouble and the police after us, and buddy, I'm talking about guys I knew was fast, ordinarily. Fast. Fast. Track stars. Police after us. Bullets flying. When they dipping and dabbing, I'm right on their tail. <laughs> they like, smiling. I don't have them. Smiling. Boy, I know you can run like that. I'm scared. I ain't going to jail or I ain't going to get killed. So when you step, I'm going to be right with you because you're going to have to get them tall. Huh? You, you, you think I... And it's worse now. This is, I'm so not scared now. I ain't bothered with a baby now. Google Gaga. Man. Hey. I ain't bother nobody. Man. Young young man, young man. I, I was in Dale, I'm gonna let y'all go. I was I was on the job and you know, I was around about a couple of white guys and they, they were talking about something and moving. We was kinda all in each other's way. And they're like, Well you gonna move out your way, huh? Well we all you're a big dude. I'm like, yeah, I'm a big dude, but I don't go that way no more. I ain't doing all that fighting and all that. I ain't. Y'all can have it. See you later. I'm going, hey, boy, I got y'all away. <laughs> no, boy, I ain't in all that good of shape no more, bro, Troy. <laughs> He's like, look at here. I know, I know 
You know, if I have to hit the ground, it's over with for me because I can't hardly get up. You see me trying to get up off chairs and whatnot now. Like, Lord, am I going to make I used to laugh at old folk. You be seeing them rocking. <laughs> Take all that forward motion to get you up out of the chair now. Man, please, I ain't bothering nobody. Get off your, get on your knee. Man, please, I'm going to pray standing up. Man. You love the Lord? Amen. Amen. I, I just trust, trust that just something was said. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, church. Don't ever let nobody fool you. There's a richness. There's a richness. God, if, if you study, that's the problem. People don't study. You got to study the message. You can't tell me about the message if you ain't studying it. You can't criticize it if you ain't studying it and being inspired. Well, you, you, you got to study. You got to study. Don't let Brother Jack do it all for you. You got to study for yourself. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 Say amen again. Amen. amen. Would you enjoy that? Amen. We give uh, thank Brother Willie for amen, getting himself out of the way. Amen. amen. And preaching to our hearts. Amen. I'm sure everybody got something out of that. I sure did. You know. Amen. And let's sing this little song. I love the old time preaching. I love the old time way. I love the old time preaching, shouting, preaching, praying. I love the old time way. So when I think of my Redeemer, all along the way, amen, amen. Amen, amen. When I think of my Redeemer, all along the way, there is joy, joy in my heart. Oh, I love the old time preaching, shouting. I love the old time way. I love the old time preaching, shouting, preaching, praying. I love the old time way. Oh, when I think of my Redeemer, all along the way, amen, 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 amen. When I think of my Redeemer, all along the way, there is joy, joy in my heart. One more time. Oh. I love the old time preaching, shouting. I love the old time way. Oh, I love the old time preaching, shouting. Oh, I love the old time way. Amen. Amen. I, I, I surely appreciate that. I, you know, Willie was talking about, you know, it just, it's just ain't like it used to be. Amen. You can tell how, amen, the love of men, and they, they just backslid in a backslid condition. It ain't like it used to be. On a Wednesday night, the old Pentecostal church would be a little church this side, be packed. Packed. Old mother drumming over there on the, you ain't had nothing but a bass drum. One bass drum. You ain't need no music. 
mothers in white shouting all over the place, praying for it. I mean, the place is packed. Amen. We just got to get fall back in love with Jesus. Amen. The people are so busy, so consumed with the world, so consumed with all kind of things, being successful. I got to chase my dream. The only dream you should be worried about is getting back to this word. Amen. Getting back to this word. Look, I tell you what, I tell you what, I got a lot on my heart, but I sure appreciate that word, Brother Willie. Sure appreciate that, boy. I tell you, you brought up like a lot of things there. Running around there in Riviera Beach like a fool. They didn't have it, but you must have lost your mind. But I thank God I found it. Yeah, I thank God I found it. Amen. Before it did something, he was always, when I, I didn't know no better, he was looking out for me all the time. Amen. Preserving the seed. Amen. You love the Lord? Amen. We're not going to hold you. Uh, just remember those uh, that in prayer remember our pastor. Okay, remember no service this Friday. No adult Sunday school this Sunday. We'll have uh, Brother Gene Gabor. Amen. To be preaching for us on Sunday. Amen. So uh, we will be having prayer. We're calling all prayer warriors. Amen. Let's come out and sigh and cry for the abominations done in the city. Amen. To uh, lay before the altar. Amen. To set the atmosphere. Amen. The war is still fought on our knees. Amen. And just keep those lifted up in prayer. Remember our pastor um, who in Israel and all the saints. So I remember Brother Karen's aunt texted me and said that uh, I don't know what this all of the situation, but she's in critical condition from what I understood. Um, so uh, keep him in your prayers. Amen. All of the saints that are not here. Amen. Just keep them in your prayer. If you have a, a need. Amen. Let it be signified by the uplifting of your hand as we go before the throne. Amen. Oh, most gracious Heavenly Father, we just, oh Lord, how we thank you, Lord God, for, Lord, this wonderful message, Lord God, this wonderful meal that you prepared for us, Lord. Thank you for it, oh Father. Lord God, how, Lord, we just been encouraged in our soul, oh Father God, to just, Lord God, to, just keep on the firing line, Lord God. Lord, to stay true, Lord God. Lord God, we just ask you, Lord God, may the word, Lord God, Lord, just sink down into our souls, Lord God, that we not just be hearers of the word, but doers, Lord. Lord God, as the revelation was poured into us tonight, Lord God. Lord God, those that sacrificed, Lord God, and Press their way out, Lord God. Feed them, O oh Lord God. O oh Lord, would you remind it, Lord God, how the brother say, Lord God, that Christ presented Adam what he took from Adam. And Lord, how you are presenting to Christ what came from Christ. Lord, is the pure word. Make us that pure word, O oh Father. Continue to Lord God, help us, Lord, to become and reflect all of you, Lord God. Even though we're in this flesh, Lord, we were forced into a first marriage. Lord, by, through, 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 the, through the fall, Lord God. But Lord God, we've divorced that, Lord God. Lord God, and we're, we're in another ceremony, Lord God. Taking on a new husband, oh Father God. May we reflect the character of Christ Jesus, oh Father God. Oh Lord God, help us, Lord God, as we see, Lord God, if we see anything within us, Lord God, that's not lining up with your word, maybe just stay before you, Lord God, and let you do the work within us, Lord God. Stay hungry, Lord God, and desperate for more of you, Lord God. Lord God, until you cap this thing off, oh Father God. Lord God, we just stay desperate. Lord God, don't let it get common to us, oh Lord God. We think we're there and we just get slack, Lord God, and figure out, well, we don't need, we don't need to press anymore. We don't need to pray anymore. We don't need to cry out anymore. Lord, I still need to cry out for you, Lord. 
the subtlety of the serpent. He's subtle. He's still subtle. Lord God, may we just, Lord, stay on our knees. And stay watchful and prayerful, Lord God. Lord God, we be so careful to give y'all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Be with each and every one of us as we leave this place, Lord God. Give us traveling mercy, Lord God. Be with us throughout the rest of the week till we meet back here again at the appointed time, oh Lord God. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.